Hey vlog, it has been kind of a crazy week, but we are settling down to the house and things are going pretty well. Um, kind of the last spot to get figured out is my creative space because I'm not the most organized and I kind of have to like live with things for a little bit before I kind of know where they're going to go. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but I did, oh, you can kind of see it right over here. I did get the, um, stick unicorn or unicorn hobby horse. I still am not exactly sure what we're going to call it. Probably whatever is like most easily Googleable. Uh, <laughs> so I did get the second one done, which means all of the recording for the crochet along is done. Um, and half of the editing is done. So I'll show you these two. So I said last week that the, the hair that I had done on this one was not exactly right, which is true. Um, so I went ahead and I made a lot more of the, the right kinds of hair and I attached them on. And so it's a much more full mane. I mean, it still is pretty curly, but you can see that we do have some straight and then kind of curls at the end. Um, and I like that look. And then over here, it's just like this, beautiful, curly, I don't know. I don't want to say mess because it's, it's pretty anyway. <laughs> and I did go ahead and I added reins to this one. Um, I don't know if I love it though. So I'm not, I, at the moment I haven't included it in the crochet along. If you think that you would like to have reins added, I'll record one more segment and add it to the end of the, the last one. Um, so vote, yes or no to reins in the comments. That would be really helpful. So that's this one all finished up. And then actually, I think I'll switch them sides. Technical difficulties. And so this is the one that I made for the crochet along. I'll set this one down here. So um, she, she is pink. I use the same material uh, for the fleece in the ears. Oh, this one's flopped down a little bit. In the ears and on the blaze. Um, and then I used one of the Bernat blanket stripes that had the kind of greens and blues in it. So, so once again, we've got two here. Aren't they? Okay, I think they're super cute, so. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit too nice to my work and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But I, I do really like it. It makes me happy. So, <laughs> so these are my two unicorn hobby horses. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so that's a big deal. So uh, we're done editing the mostly done with the first one about halfway through the second video. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do three videos. I originally said four cause I was going to do the first one as a materials video, but I think what I'm going to do is I have the, uh, materials PDF up on my website. So it'll be in the link below. Um, and so I think I'm just going to do that there. Um, and then also on my website, I have, um, a couple of my crochet chats linked where I talk about some of the materials like using nylons, picking fleece or, you know, material like that. Um, and so I think that'll be really helpful, especially for people who, you know, might be coming to my channel for the first time because of the crochet along, you know, they might not have any idea how I do any of this or, you know, kind of my process. So I think that will be really helpful. Um, so I think we're just going to do three videos and it will be the, we'll do the head in the first video. We'll do eyes, blaze, horn, ears, and top stitching on the, um, I guess I'm just going to call it the halter. Like horse, people who know horse tack are not going to say that's right. I'm sorry. 
for now we're just gonna call it the the bridle or sorry the uh halter <laughs> i don't even know what i'm talking about um so yeah top stitching the halter then the third video will be making the neck top stitching on the bottom part of the halter and then making the hair and attaching um, and if you guys vote yes to adding the reins i will make a video where we add reins so so those will be the three videos which means you guys will get it done even sooner so you can make multiple if you need to for in time for christmas so that's that's the story of my unicorns I want them to be in the shop, but I don't, I don't know how to make it look normal. I don't think I can. Okay, whatever. They're just gonna lay there in the back and be beautiful. So <clears throat> anyway, other things I did finish the second alpaca. So that means I've got all of the pictures taken for the pattern and I, I had on my like list my goals for the week to have the alpaca pattern done like ready to send out to testers beginning of next week and I just don't I've been really busy so I haven't gotten it done so hopefully next week I will get that pattern finished and able to send out to testers so things that I changed from this is the original to the second one um, if you guys have followed my work, you know that I switched hook sizes. So this one was made with the bigger hook size. Um, but like the heads are the exact same. Um, like honestly, the biggest change is that on, on the original here, I started, um, decreasing too soon on the front side. And so we have a little bit of like a proud chest here and the legs didn't sit very naturally. And so I fixed that on this one. So it goes just kind of straight, straight down. <laughs> Sorry, losing an alpaca. So, you know, so it goes straight down into the legs. Um, I also, I mean, you can't see it, but I added um, an extra row of height on just half of the, the leg so that it sits a little bit more naturally where this is higher and then this is lower. So when you're attaching, it makes more sense and it, it lays more naturally. So that's the alpacas. I just, I like having two. I like being in the middle and being like, oh, it's so fun. Anyway, <laughs> so that's those two. And then I know one more thing I haven't talked to you guys about at all. Um, my friend, sorry, I've got something in my eye. My friend is having a little boy in January and she asked if I could make her a Pooh Bear because um, they're doing a 100 acre wood themed nursery. Um, and, you know, following my panda pattern and I honestly, I'm making a couple of changes to it because it doesn't work out perfectly, but um, it's, it's working it's working up pretty well. So let me show you what I've got so far. It's a little funny at the moment. So this is where I am. So this would be his little red shirt. This is the bottom. Then this is going to be the head. And so you can tell it's like, it's a little funny shaped at the moment. Um, Cause one thing I've, one of the unique challenges of this project is that she has a poo boy, Pooh Bear, sorry, a Winnie the Pooh toy from when she was really little. And um, the voice box still works. And so we went ahead and we took the voice box out of that and we're putting it in this one. So, so that's kind of why it's really straight right here is because there's like this battery pack and the voice box, let's see if it will work. We're supposed to give it a hug. Okay. So it, it works. Um, and so then, now hopefully it doesn't just keep chatting. Um, and then there's also one up here that is another sensor that we'll pro I'll probably put up like right next to his nose so that if, you know, as the child gets older, as he gives him a hug, um, it's got a sensor there and a sensor there. 
So it, it says two different, well, it says like four or five different things. Anyway, so that's, that's kind of the unique project here. And really the only difference I've been doing on this, so um, to get the voice box out, um, I am, I, I made the top a little bit bigger. I didn't decrease down as much as I would normally do. And then I've, um, I've gone ahead and, you know, made this a little bit differently. And then I'm going to put some Velcro here and on here as well. Sorry. You can hear my daughter. She's playing downstairs. I don't have a door down there. There's no sound barrier between me and her. So life, right? Anyway, so, so I'll put Velcro on both of these and then it should just sit right there. And then if the batteries need to be changed, you just pull it out. So yeah, so that's, it's, it's a little bit different, but I think it's going to work up pretty, pretty similar. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with the colors that they are so similar to the Winnie the Pooh colors. So anyway, that will be a, well, a late baby shower gift because I'm pretty sure the baby shower's today. So sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I think she'll like it anyway. It will just be late. <laughs> so that is that. Um, and honestly, I think that's, I think that's it for this week. Um, next week, I've just got to get all of the, the videos edited for the crochet along. I've got to work on the alpaca pattern and I will hopefully make some progress on this Winnie the Pooh. I need to pick out a different fleece for the, the hands and the feet. Um, I have one, but I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's gonna have the right vibe. So here we go. So like the red, is is like perfect for this but the i think the black is you know and i would i would take my snippets from spots like this but i'm just afraid that having any black in it at all is going to make it look i don't know just too dark like not not light and happy enough to be a baby's toy you know so I want, I want to go and find something cream colored. Um, so I'm going to have to maybe sneak away after I'm done with this and see if I can uh, go shopping and find some cream colored um, fleece that is not girly. Because that's what I was running into last time I went shopping is that I could find some, but they all had a very feminine feel and it just didn't quite match. So. That's where that is. Um, yeah, so next next week um, I'll be, I mean, we'll be like two days away from watching the first crochet along video. I'm excited about, also a little nervous about because you know, um, it's, I mean, it's a big deal in my world. So anyway, um, I've, I've got to get going, got to get doing things. So I'm going to have something more to show for next week. So I'm going to take off. Um, you guys take care and I will see you next week. Bye.